Okay, everybody, thanks for downloading the Voice of Bedlam podcast. I'm your host, Andrew Santoro. I got my co-host with me today. As always, we got my main man, John, on the mic and on the board. John, how you doing, man? Doing pretty good. It is a good start of the week. Um, kind of crappy outside and weather-wise, but it's good to be inside talking about all things NFL. And and speaking of, big shout out to all the people that gave us some love on YouTube and all apologies for the last audio for our audio listeners. But the audio is perfect on YouTube, so you can run over there and hear it. But with that exactly. being said, we got a substitute for Sean tonight. We have the lovely Jessica Rude Girl. Jessica, what's up? Doing good, guys. How's everybody doing? Um, it's good to be here. I'm excited. Love talking about football and everything football, so let's let's get it on. All right, let's go then. With that, I guess the biggest news just came down today. Um, we got B.J. Raji, free agent out of Green Bay, talking to the Panthers, decides to retire before he's 30 years old, seven years playing. What's going on with B.J. Raji? Why is he retiring? I mean, I know he's got the Super Bowl, and um, he's been to the Pro Bowl one time. Now, they got Latroy. Now, how do you say him? Gayen? Gayen, yeah. Latroy Gayen. I guess uh, he's a D lineman out of Florida State, picked up by uh, Minnesota in the fifth round a couple years ago. He came over to Green Bay as a free agent a year or two ago, and uh, before... Before free agency started, they gave him a new deal. Seems like, I mean, well, they did expect maybe uh, B.J. Raji to leave uh, free agency, but they gave him an $11.25 million deal, only a half a mil up, uh, guaranteed, though. So yeah. that's a pretty heavy base incentive contract. But why do you think B.J. is retiring after only, uh, I mean, how many years? Uh, seven seasons? Yeah, seven seasons. Uh, well... Um, think about it. Um, it's a it's a tough game, and not only that, you're uh, you know you're going up against uh, some big boys. You know, day in Playing and day right out. There, DT right in the middle, stopping the run. Exactly. So you're going up against big boys, and you know you're going up against a brick wall. It's like running against a big brick wall. You go outside, run against a brick wall a couple times, and you tell me how it feels on your body. So, <laughs> you know, maybe he wants to, you know, maybe he has other uh, ambitions that uh, outside of football that he wants to pursue, which, you know, with all the uh, head injuries and stuff like that that uh, players endure, along with the numerous of medical lists of injuries and reconstructions of muscles and other joints. He and was things. injured like two years ago, right? Um, was it anything serious? I don't remember. I know he missed some time a couple years ago. I don't think I have his stats. But um, I don't know. I, it just really seems uh, 2014, like... 2014, he uh, tore his right bicep muscle. Okay, so he had that in there. I, that might have put him out for the year. That could go either way. But... Um, I was going to say, like, what's Green Bay going to do here? I mean, all the problems they got with Lacey, like with his weight and maybe his commitment and whatever, anything else that everybody's saying about Lacey. So they're losing in the run game and in stopping the run game. But they got what's starts. What's going to happen? Yeah, I but like James Starks. Um, I picked him up in my fantasy because... Uh you know, I seen something in him, so I tried to grab him like right away because running backs in fantasy go pretty quick, yeah, pretty quick. And not only that, but then you know, then when people start getting hurt, and then you got to hit that waiver line quick. Mm -hmm. See me, I was undefeated like all year, so like I was always last in the waiver line. Now, uh, Jessica over here in the same, uh, uh, well, I guess I can't really say what the title of the league was on the podcast. Jessica here, she was contending to not be in last place. So she was pretty commonly uh, frequenting the waiver wire, but uh, I guess not making the best choices. Yeah. You're going you gonna to play this year, Jess? I'm thinking about it, yeah. Well, I mean, give my best shot. Real quick, game. before we get into our next story here, because we got another pretty big one, I want to tell you some things we're going to be doing in the show in the near future. Now, we got the YouTube channel up. We got a bunch of likes, some subscribers. We appreciate it. Keep it coming. We're going to be putting up more videos. Oh, yeah. And uh, But with that, we are also... Um, 
we are going to be doing a we might be doing a live show we're going to stream it live take some callers we'll probably stream live on youtube and facebook and then from there we don't have a date yet we're going to be taking the show on the road heading down to a local pub mother's bar and grill and we're going to be live from there and uh we're going to be letting people come up sit on the show and speak their piece a little all right how's everybody doing out there today thanks for tuning into this special edition Voice of Bedlam podcast. If you want to take that next jump with your business or company, you need to come over and advertise on the Voice of Bedlam podcast. Get your ad heard by thousands on a reoccurring basis. Just click buy now and send us your info. Thanks a lot, guys. 